Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Today I'm going to show you a multi-million dollar property. Uh, do you have any questions before we start? No, sir. Just show me around. All right. Come on in. Go. Now this property has a lot of history, so I'm going to take you on a little walk down to what we call memory lane. So if you come down here, you can see a bunch of quotes and memories from our Gorman alum. And they're very important to this property. And I feel like it adds the most character. Who's that? Oh, well that, that is Tracy Good. He is a Bishop Gorman legend. That is a Bishop Gorman legend. Yes, sir. You see that one time he's in the car with I did, I did. You yes, saw sir. that on YouTube? Yes, sir. Wonderful, that happened on this property. Oh, come on now. And here is our Bishop Gorman library. The library has everything you need to help you study for your classes. This is the chapel where a mass is held every Friday at 7 a.m. Yeah, so that was our chapel. And now I'll show you another part of the property. Wait, uh, by any chance, do you know what time it is? It's time for the prayer and pledge. Please stand for the prayer and pledge. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For this new morning with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for everything thy goodness sends. We thank thee, dearest Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, in the visible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready for the best Friday ever, Bishop Gorman? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Bishop Gorman. Gorman. I'm Jackson Taylor. And I'm Taya Thompson. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. Today is Friday, September 3rd, and it's the first show of the year. We hope you're having a great year so far, and we're so excited to be back. Hey, Taya, what are you most excited about for this school year? I'm so excited to have football games, pep rallies, and even being able to eat in the commons again. And speaking of the commons, Sarah Locke and Anya Gururaj went down to the commons to check out the new food provider, Sage Dining. I'm Sarah Locke. And I'm Anya Gururaj. School lunches are back. We're outside of the commons right now. And we're going to show you the new lunch procedures. Let's, Let's go. go. Be sure to download the Touch of Sage app so you can view the menu for the week, the prices for each meal, and all the ingredients. Remember, guys, as soon as you sit down at your table, make sure to scan the QR code. Staff members will come around to your tables at the end of lunch to look at your contact tracing emails to make sure you have those out and ready. Let's go get lunch. For lunch today we have bang bang chicken, but I already knew that because I have the Touch of Sage app and I've used the menu before. Come on! We hope you all have had a good lunch. Remember to stay safe and healthy. Peace up, BG! Thanks, ladies. Hey, Jackson, or should I say, Mr. President. No need for that, Taya. We're friends. Well, I never asked. How's the new job going? I mean, it's a big role, but I'm handling it great. If you want to learn more, Roma Vasquez and Abby Hartz interviewed me and the Vice President Lily Algate on the role and the jobs we're required to do. Roll the clip. What's up, Gorman? It's Abby Hartz. And it's Roma. And this week, we got a chance to talk to our class president and vice president. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Jackson Taylor. I'm the current senior class president here at Bishop Gorman High School. Hi, I'm Lily Algate. I am the senior class vice president. 
I wanted to do an ASG just because I really just wanted to make a difference at our school. I thought it'd be cool to help plan events and just help, ha help the student body have a great time at Gorman. I decided to join ASG my freshman year. I really wanted to like build a community at Gorman and make some really good friends. And so ASG was the perfect opportunity for me to do that. And throughout the years, I've really grown to love it. Outside of student government, I do cross country. I'm on the bowling team. I'm on the track team. I do St. Thomas Aquinas National Honor Society, National English Honor Society, National Honor Society, National French Honor Society, and just a lot of different clubs. Outside of ASG, I do cross country, track, link crew, National Honor Society, and National English Honor Society. My favorite events at Gorman are really pep rallies, the energy the crowd brings. It, it could be better, we need the student section to get loud, but the overall energy of pep rallies are just great time. I am most looking forward to homecoming. Homecoming is like my favorite time of the year because so much preparation goes into it, and I just love to see the finished outcome. Make sure to show up to football games, get loud, get excited. It's going to be a great year. Bishop Gorman, go Gales. Thanks, Abby and Roma. Here at Gorman, sports and extracurriculars play a huge role in our lives. Two weeks ago was the school's first pep rally in over 500 days. Athena Hovanesian and Angelica Garvey took some videos to recap the fun event. What's up, Gorman? It's Athena and Angelica here, and we finally got to have our first pep rally in two years. Here are some highlights from our previous pep rally. Wow guys, that was so much fun. It's so great to be able to come together as a school again and celebrate our sports teams. With that being said, let's pass the ball over to Maya Engelberg for sports. Maya? What's up Bishop Gorman? Sparts are starting to pick up. Let's get right into it. Football is currently in Miami, Florida for an away game tomorrow against Miami Central. Watch the game on Go Livestream by Flow Sports at 5 p.m. Pacific time or 8 p.m. Eastern and wish our football team good luck. Women's tennis have played four matches and won all against Bonanza, Arborview, Liberty, and Centennial. Women's volleyball is in full swing. Last week they beat Full Hill three sets to none and played Durango yesterday. Men's soccer played Tuesday and won 5-0, and women's soccer are playing scrimmages. Cross-country men's won first at their meet, while women's won second. Good job. Men's and women's basketball and flag football are currently in preseason practicing and training for games to come. Well, that's all I have for this week, Gorman. Good luck, Gales. Thanks, Maya. With all activities and sports in full swing, we have to remember to stay on top of our service hours. Tristan Montesirin and Dominic Montoya caught up with Campus Ministry to learn what's happening. Hey, what's up Bishop Gorman High School? It's Mark Sayre, your friendly neighborhood campus minister. Here to just tell you about a couple events that we've got coming up in the very near future. Number one, for you seniors, the application for the senior retreat, we invite you to do so as soon as possible. We'd like to have those applications submitted already so that we can get that retreat well underway. The retreat's gonna be an amazing experience. And for you seniors who haven't been on a retreat yet, if you leave Bishop Gorman High School without having had the experience of going on a retreat, you haven't had the full experience of what it means to be a Bishop Gorman Gale. So stop by Campus Ministry, invite your friends, sign up for that retreat. It takes place from September 22nd to the 24th. It's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday overnight retreat for, we, for us to be able to hang out, to bond, and to explore our faith together. Hope to see you guys there. It's going to be an amazing time at Mount Potosi. In addition to that, we are celebrating Mass in Our Lady of Lords Chapel every Friday, every week at 7 a.m. I would love so much to see the chapel packed and afterwards I'll feed you donuts and we'll hang out afterwards in campus ministry so start coming to mass and celebrating God's love for us together as a community with us in Our Lady of Lords Chapel every Friday at 7 a.m. other than that we got we got some other trips coming up here we're trying to go to National Catholic Youth Youth Conference in Indianapolis if you're interested come pick up an application we got Kairos coming up for you juniors and seniors we have the quest 
tree coming up for freshmen and sophomores. We just want you guys to stop by Campus Ministry and start engaging some of these activities and, and opportunities that we're offering for you. Also this year, new to Campus Ministry, we have a service coordinator who stepped in new this year. His name is Mr. Condor. I'm going to pass you over to him so he can tell you about some of the things that we got going on in the service department. God bless you guys. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Peace. Hey, Bishop Gorman. This is Mr. Condor. I'm the Christian service coordinator. Uh, just here to talk about some great opportunities that we have coming up here in Christian service. Make sure to check out X Tuval. If you haven't registered yet, make sure to get on that. If you have any questions, stop by Campus Ministry and I'll help you out with that. But upcoming, we have an exciting uh, walk opportunity on September 11th, a 5K walk. Make sure to go to opportunities on X Tuval to check that out. It's with Hope Means Nevada and it's gonna help with mental awareness and suicide prevention, so uh, check that out. It's gonna be a great opportunity, yeah. Thanks guys. As you may remember, last Thursday was our first all school mass of the year. Mass is an important part of our school and brings us closer together as a Gorman community. Regardless of religious background, all are welcome at our school masses to learn about and get closer with God. As a Catholic school, we are extremely lucky to have such a beautiful place such as Holy Spirit to come together and worship especially a place so close. Finally, we'd like to thank Father Bill and Father Jojo for opening their church up to us and all they do for the community. Make sure to stick around after the show to hear a special, me special message from Caroline and Lauren Edgeworth about Hope Means Nevada's 5K Walk. We are all so excited to be back and we know this year will be the best one yet. Well, that's all the time we have for this week, Gorman. I'm Jackson Taylor. And I'm Taya Thompson. And, and this, this is, is your BGTV. BGTV. Hey everyone, on September 11th, Nevada Coalition of Suicide Prevention will be hosting a Hope Walk for Teen Mental Health. It'll start at 7.30 at Bob Miller Middle School. If you guys want more inf information, visit x 2 It's a really great service opportunity and you'll get three indirect service hours, get to meet a lot of new people, and there's so many great opportunities there. So we're super excited to see you all and please try to make it.